Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney where with a new turnabout started we continue to examine the Gordon Lake area to try and prove Miles Edgeworth's innocence. The trash can is empty. At least the place is well maintained. It is indeed as we just examine all around and see what we can see. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh. Well a long time ago they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. So was I actually when you said it. You know, like an hourglass shape. Well, it is shaped like a gourd actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, but we jump straight into this episode, straight with the examining. No need to set the scene, as we are setting the scene currently. Hot dog stand, it's closed. The Christmas fringe looks a little half-baked. The banner reads, Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Not Reservoir then, but still, it doesn't really look like much is going on here otherwise. Maybe that signpost. Huh? I almost didn't see that signpost. Left, boat docks, right, exit. Maybe we should go to see if we can go to the boat docks then. Or not. Oh no, actually we can go either way. Boat rental shop or the Gord Lake Woods. Boat docks we're interested in. So let's head over to 725th at the boat rental shop. Is there anyone here? Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop. Closed for Christmas it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea! You bet! Then we can douse you in the water like it's a waterfall, but not really. You could be the one falling into the water. Well, let's check around here as well. That vent always looks interesting to me. Small boat rental shop. The vent is unimportant. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. I guess we're not really going to find out much on a day like today, are we? There are some boats floating at the dock. Was one of these boats used in the murder, I wonder? Nick! Huh? I changed my mind. I didn't really want to go for a boat ride. You just realised as well, didn't you? What does the sign say? Okay, it's just going to say about the shop. What about the windows? It's just going to say about the shop. So it doesn't seem to be anything here for the time being. Or maybe this isn't the area we were supposed to go to first. So if we move back through to the Gord Lake Public Beach... There was the option of going to the woods as well. Now this looks more promising. For the apparatus right in front of us. Has that been there since last night? I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Mayor. Let's go talk to them. Indeed. Right, well, first of all, let's examine a bit, because the most interesting bit is this here. This camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick! Huh? Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it! Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers? Why is it set to respond to that kind of noise? Well, he responded. Yeah! Hey you! Get your hands off of that! Eek! What in the Sam Hill? Look what you've done now! There goes a whole roll of film! Huh? What? Huh? S sorry? Sorry's nice, but it don't pay my bills! You all know how much a roll of that film costs? I... I'll pay you back! What were you thinking, sending off a party popper in a place like this? Uh, well, it is Christmas. What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin! You all know how you old yanks think! You all? Yeah, I know how you old yanks think. Okay. I say those seven folks talk with that exaggerated draw. Why, they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Nick, help! And who are you now? A chaperone? 
Yeah, uh, no. Rather, uh, we're sort of friends. Just figure out what you all are gonna say and say it for bejeevums sake. Bejeezums. It's like cheesums, but not. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's drawls than listen you stutter all day. Oh boy, another weird character. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. Okay, well, it seems we got someone to talk to, so why not talk to them? What happened? Um, did you notice anything happening last night? What? Can't you see I'm changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. That didn't work. I wonder if I have anything to show her that would get her attention. Okay. This is the only thing. I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Aren't badges supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. Wh what? You all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have you all know I'm a fighter and I wrestled meaner looking things than you. N no, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool! Why didn't you all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. You too. You all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? S sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I can talk yank for you if you... Um, if it pleases you. So they're saying that our guys are American? Okay. So what, what, what does that make you? I, I don't understand. Let's just, let's just think everyone is Japanese still, maybe. But in English. I'm confused. Let's continue on. This isn't about the case, it's about... Ugh. L thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lotta. Lotta Hart. You can call me Lotta. She's got a lot of heart indeed. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Okay, that's cool and all, but... How would a meteor shower set off your mic? Mighty pleased to meet you. I wonder if it would. Well, she's here for some reason, so it must be that. Right then, what happened? Oh yeah, when was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so. Christmas Eve? A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. You all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. Let's ask more about her, then. So, what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? Haha! <laughs> You all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm a research student at Country U. Right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student at a university! Country U! Uh, so I hear. So, when did you come up here? Hmm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? D didn't I tell you all that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers! Falling stars? Let's ask more about the camera then. That's quite a camera you have there. You all better know it. It's German made. A genuine Solingen. Isn't that where they make knives? Um, so what's that device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That mic triggers the shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat! Okay, and that's been entered into evidence. To be honest then, we should probably present to you your own camera and ask more about it. Well, more to the point, it's set to automatically take a picture when a loud noise is detected and it faces the lake. What could that have seen? 
Lotta? Yeah? So, your camera, it triggers on loud explosion noises? Ah, yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. Pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! You all are pretty bright! Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked him once, don't remember if there was anything on him though. But what if I got something? I could be witness to a genuine murder! Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. You all come back now, you hear? She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Okay, we're coming back later, are we? That seemed like a definitive thing to say. Let's check your magazine that's out on the floor here. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. It does indeed. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick to pitch a tent. Wait, what if the sign says no setting tents on fire? That probably is about right. I don't think they have signs like that. Oh! Hey, maybe, maybe it's true. Well, they did set a fire anyway. Hey, Nick! What? Well, don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminium? Or aluminium, as it's been put here, so it's very American marketed. Of course, the differences between aluminium and aluminium, or, uh, you know, the pronunciations over the C, it's quite different. Quite different. So I read that as aluminium, even though that is definitely spelt aluminium at the moment. They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminium then. I'm not having this conversation. And I'm not having the conversation about the pronunciations of things that are different depending on where you live. I'm out of here, moving away, and I'll sound like David Attenborough in the woods. Or some kind of really creepy posh guy in England. Alright then, let's move out from here. We could check the boat rental shop again. But it seems on Christmas Day, there's not much going on. Which you kind of would expect, wouldn't you? You kind of would expect. So back to the entrance. No one's here. Let's see if that autopsy report's ready then, I guess. As we head into the precinct. On Christmas Day, where they still have people working because of course, crime never stops. I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I get the feeling we're in for some bad news. Indeed, we probably are. Let's talk about the victim. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no. Still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edgeworth said anything? Not a word. What about the meeting, then? So, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth's human like you or me. Still, I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, you wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Plus, he'd have probably figured out his escape plan as well beforehand. He's probably got the money for it. He'd probably be long gone. It's a good time to murder someone, I guess, if you're thinking around that way, considering the fact that there's pretty much no one in the lake now. But he'd have money, he'd distance himself. You wouldn't stick around, would you, really? Really? That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it. Well, the trial's starting tomorrow, is scheduled. I see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting! Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes sir! I knew he was going to tell us anyway. He wants to help Edgeworth. And, do me a favour! Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Right, about why you trust Edgeworth so much. Considering he's never really been that nice to you, it seems. Detective Gumshoe, how can you trust Mr. Edgeworth so much? 
Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. Okay, well the autopsy report's now appeared, so let's ask about that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. I oh, thank you, very nice of you. Thank you, indeed. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? Her face? Someone you know? I... I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Okay then. Right, so what does the autopsy report say apart from that? Time of death, sometime between the 24th or 25th. Cause, one bullet shot to the heart. I guess the uh, time of death is skewed due to the cold water maybe? Or water in general I think skews the time of death. But let's just quickly examine here, because we're in the police precinct, we may as well look around. Who are you? This must be the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gord Lake? Gord, he's sighted! I don't believe it! Shouldn't you be reading something more important? And there's a poster above him. Poster of a female police officer. Wait, no, that's the latest Babes in Uniform calendar. My bad. Okay, and we got this weird, kind of weird Sonic the Hedgehog looking thing. A morphed one. Hey, is that the police department's mascot? That's the Blue Badger! It was my idea! I made it! It's my mascot! I see. How nice. I'll get him assigned mascot of the criminal affairs department. If it's the last thing I do. Um, good luck. And old computers with old monitors. Newer-ish. Old! These are the detective's desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I'd expect. I guess the detective don't spend a lot of time in the desks. Probably not. Probably not. But if that's all we've got to do for now... Now where do we go? Well, something's happening for us to go back here. That's good. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Oh, it seems we've gone the right place to trigger whatever this is. Her memory. Hey! I, I remember now! This guy! He's a lawyer that was at the office Mia works at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. That office? Wait. You mean Grossberg's office? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe I should go talk to him, for old time's sake. Maybe you should. Well, that was an interesting little kind of extra bit there. I was wondering what we should do next. Maybe we should have gone back to check if the photo had been found, but... It seems we get to move on because of that, and it seems he hasn't replaced his picture. As we head to Grossberg's law offices. It's been a while since I was last here. Mr. Grossberg is out as usual. Hey Nick, look at the wall. That painting is still missing. Mia must have known about the deal with Mr. Grossberg and Red White. She kept track of all of White's extortion and blackmail rackets. Indeed. Well, Grossberg isn't here then. Means we're a bit lax of things to do, isn't it? I don't think there's anything really to examine here. Why is the wall there a different colour? A big painting was hanging there until recently, and the light not shining on it meant that, yeah... Huh? What happened to it? Uh, well, he gave it to someone. I bet he gave it to some romantic interest. Love blooms eternal, Nick. Uh, yeah, he gave it to the guy that killed your sister. Spoilers of the past, but still. And still, a solid mahogany desk, and I don't think anything's going to cause him to come over here. Hey, Nick! I want a desk like that in office too! 
I don't know. I don't think I'm ready to sit at a desk like that yet. Huh? I meant for me! You better start saving your allowance then. Right then, with no Grossberg here, it seems that this is somewhere where we need to be. Maybe by leaving we'll trigger something? Maybe it'll come through the door. We'll find out next episode as we continue on with the case. Maybe we'll head back to the lake then and check the photo first. Seeming when we got that stroke of luck that led us to here in the first place, that would have been my other move. So, let's go. Next time. Bye-bye.